Minnesota's governor told Democratic donors that the Electoral College, quote, needs to go. The Trump team was quick to criticize that recent remark from the Democratic vice presidential candidate and Walls' own campaign said it's not their position. Caroline Cummings is here with more. So, uh, Caroline, uh, we've already taken some steps in Minnesota to a popular vote. Well, that's right, Frank. So those comments drew the ire of the Trump campaign, who quickly condemned the remarks, accusing Walls of, quote, hating the Constitution. And the Harris-Walls campaign swiftly issued that clarification. But Minnesota and more than a dozen other states have actually already taken a step towards a system that chooses presidents by popular vote. <laughs> Walls's comments in the Golden State shine a light on a long-standing debate. Should the Electoral College stay or should it go? Put in a new generation of leadership. According to pool reports, Walls said, quote, I think all of us know the Electoral College needs to go. We need a national popular vote, but that's not the world we live in. But there is an effort nationwide that could change that. I'd say it's just how we treat every other election. Um, you know, the person who gets more votes wins. DFL Representative Mike Freiberg and Democrats in charge of the state capitol last year passed a law joining the national popular vote interstate compact. Walls signed it. A presidential candidate needs 270 electoral votes to win an election, securing individual states' support to reach that threshold. The 17 states plus D.C. in the compact have agreed to allocate their electors to the winner of the national popular vote. But it only takes effect when enough states join the compact, and their benchmark is 270 electoral votes. So far, they're only at 209. Well, there are a lot of problems with the Electoral College. It's it's undemocratic. Um, it tends to give smaller states uh, outsized influence in presidential elections. But not everyone is on board with this idea. GOP Representative Duane Quam thinks the compact is unfair and the Electoral College should remain as is. The electors for the state of Minnesota should only be decided by Minnesota voters. No other voters should dictate that. Again, this compact is not effective until enough states sign on. The other way to change the system by eliminating the Electoral College entirely would be through a constitutional amendment, and three-fourths of states would have to approve that, Frank. Interesting. All right, Caroline, thank you.